your intention extremely important because wherever you put the intent intention your attention will start to follow that it's kind of an automatic process in a way your attention wants to follow your intention but if the mind is too uncontrolled then the attention will get scattered whatever i choose as an intention in my life it could be the highest understanding or it could be just going on the street and helping somebody whatever i choose as an intention i start to train my mind to pour the attentiveness the attention to the intention so first i choose the intention once the intention is clear then i start to pour all my attention towards that intention i then do not allow my attention to get scattered i collect the at attention and pour into the intention yeah because this attention is a form of energy i pour the energy of my attentiveness into that intention and as a by product as a result the manifestation starts to happen in my consciousness so look at this huh? so so keep keep a mental note of this your intention extremely important because wherever you put the intent intention your attention will start to follow that it's kind of an automatic process in a way your attention wants to follow your intention but if the mind is too uncontrolled then the attention will get scattered so you need to control the mind and bring the attention back the moment the attention starts to collect itself it it is automatically it starts to pour itself on the intention there is a deep relation between intention and attention and when these two are combined through this this energy the conscious energy that you are pouring into that you start to experience the manifestation of that in your consciousness a very uh, rudimentary example of this would be let's say you are you're planning to buy a new car of red color for an example a rudimentary example yeah? you're planning to buy a car of red color suddenly you will see the moment you you made that intention that i must buy a red color car your attention is following the intention now you will start to notice a lot of red color cars on the street on the road earlier you didn't saw, saw them because your attention the energy of attention is following the energy of or following the resolve of intention which leads to manifestation not that you are manifesting cars no cars were already there in your consciousness it is getting manifested now now you are able to see it all around your consciousness is now focused or or attracting the visuals of the of the red color car rudimentary example but this is exactly what happens in life wherever you start to pour your attention based on your intention that thing starts to grow in your life a lot of friends share with me that the day they started their meditative journey somehow meditators have started connecting with them they've started making friends with the community of meditators on on its own they didn't do anything outwardly for that it just started happening that way how does it happen do you now realize the the force the strength of your own intention and your own attention it can create things in your consciousness it can sometime also outwardly in the physical world manifest realities and what is the collective intention right now collective intention is to run away collective intention is fear where is the collective attention being poured in the same thing in in the in the process of running away or absorbing a lot of fear and suffering then what will be the manifestation same do you follow that it is an extremely powerful process you know in the yogic tradition okay i'll just mention it very briefly in the yogic tradition there's a whole process called samyama 
rishis discovered this process thousands of years ago samyama what is samyama nothing but this only that we talking about that your intention attention and manifestation starts to really there's a there's a there's a connection between the three of them and the connection is through the energy through your consciousness and then things starts to manifest you start to see you start to know things yogis use this process for the highest knowing but it was the same process of course the language is different so there are yogis who continuously for years just practice this samyama and once they achieve this once they once they are rooted into samyama things starts to happen unbelievable things starts to happen